gold has always been one of the world's most desired and valuable metals, a timeless symbol of wealth, power and prestige. But behind that shiny surface lies a staggering amount of effort. To produce just one bar of gold, miners must process thousands of tons of rock. But have you ever wondered how gold is actually made? We visited the largest gold deposit in the United States, located in northeastern Nevada, and took a rare look inside the world's largest underground gold vault in New York City to find out how gold is extracted, processed, and stored in one of the most secure facilities on Earth. Billions of years ago, a meteor shower rained precious metals, including gold, onto our young planet. That gold remained buried beneath Earth's surface for eons, until miners came along and sparked the California gold rush of the 1800s. Back then, no one cared where the gold came from. They were chasing the American dream, hoping to strike it rich overnight. But little did they know, there was far more gold deep beneath their feet than they could ever imagine. Superheated gold, carried from deep within the Earth, crystallized inside quartz veins, forming underground rivers of wealth. To meet today's global demand, mining operations move mountains, literally. More gold is extracted than most people realize, but gold can't be mined until it's found. And that's the first major challenge. Today, the process of finding gold is nothing like the old days. Miners now rely on cutting edge tech, like giant airborne metal detectors that scan the land for magnetic sands and hidden minerals hundreds of feet below the surface. It's an expensive gamble. Only one in 1,000 explorations finds a profitable mine. But when they do, it's a gold mine. Literally. One of those gold mines is Barrick Gold's mega operation in Nevada, the second largest gold mine in the US, made up of both open pit and underground mines. Once a vein is identified, giant drills bore into the earth, sometimes down to two kilometers. In Nevada, the second largest gold mine in the US is operated by Barrick Gold, the world's largest mining multinational. The operation includes both an underground and an open pit mine, spanning more than 80 meters wide and plunging 450 meters deep. Every single day, 600,000 tons of limestone containing traces of gold are blasted loose. The process starts by drilling the rock and inserting explosives, mainly a mix of ammonium nitrate and fuel oil. Between 700 and 900 tons of this explosive are used each month. Once blasted, the rock is broken into smaller pieces ready for transport. Each ton of ore may contain as little as three grams of gold. That means millions of tons must be processed to produce a single gold bar. The operation costs billions, but with gold trading at roughly $63 per gram, the investment is worth it. The largest excavator here is valued at over $20 million, and the colossal haul trucks carry up to 270 tons of ore. Each truck is loaded in under a minute with just three scoops from the excavator. Once delivered, the ore is dropped onto a conveyor belt and fed into a massive rotating drum where steel balls grind it into powder. This rock powder is then mixed with water to form a slurry, which is transferred into large holding tanks. Here, a dilute cyanide solution is added. Cyanide is one of the few chemicals that can dissolve gold. Next, activated carbon particles are added to absorb the gold. The mixture is then processed using electrolysis, where an electric current causes the gold to deposit on the cathode plates. Some gold deposits can't be accessed by open pit mining. These are located deep underground, requiring an even more expensive and risky extraction process. In Nevada, miners descend over half a kilometer into a dark, complex network of tunnels spanning 80 kilometers. The temperature here averages 60 degrees Celsius, so a state-of-the-art air conditioning system, the largest of its kind, is used to cool the environment. The method is similar. Rock is blasted, collected, screened, and loaded onto trucks that carry it back to the surface for processing. Underground ore is often coated in thick sulfide crusts. To free the gold, the crushed ore is heated to 224 degrees Celsius in a pressure chamber and combined with pure oxygen. This breaks the sulfur shell and releases the trapped gold. 
The final step is smelting. The purified gold is melted at over 1,100 degrees Celsius and poured into molds. Each bar weighs 25 kilograms, contains 90% pure gold, and is worth more than $1 million. To produce a single bar, miners must process 8,200 tons of rock. Each year, this mine yields 26 metric tons of gold, valued at over $1 billion. These bars are sent to a refinery for final purification and polishing. The final gold is marked with its purity, usually 99.99%. So where does this gold go? Much of it ends up in the most secure vault on Earth, the underground gold vault of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Built in the 1920s beneath the Fed's Manhattan headquarters, this vault houses nearly a quarter of the world's gold reserves. After World War II, countries around the world sent their gold here for safekeeping, protected by a 90-ton steel cylinder door so massive it's sealed in a waterproof and airtight chamber. The vault's holdings peaked in 1973 at over 12,000 tons, just after the US ended gold dollar convertibility for foreign governments. Though deposits and withdrawals have slowed, the New York vault still holds more gold than any other facility in the world. Gold travels in armored trucks, escorted by heavily armed guards through Manhattan's narrow streets. Once inside, the gold is weighed, documented and stored in underground chambers, safe from any threat. This small stack of gold bars may not look like much, but try putting it in your car and you'll blow out the tires. It's worth hundreds of millions, and that's just a few bricks. So, what would you do with a bar of gold? Let us know in the comments. Gold isn't just for vaults. It's a key ingredient in cutting-edge tech, like the microchips powering your devices. And if you want to know how microchips are made from sand, watch the video on your screen. And please like the video if you enjoyed it, and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.